Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. In today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener, we're going to be planting one of the uh, staples, really, of your winter vegetable bed, which is leeks. If you're not already subscribed to us at learnhowtogarden.com, there's a link directly below this film that will take you to the website, input your email address, and that means every single time I put up a new film, I can let you know. It also means you get access to my free monthly newsletter in which I uh, put lots more information about current things that happen in horticulture, uh, one or two sort of ideas I have to make growing things easier, and the occasional rant when sort of I read something that really gets me going. Leeks. They really should be in most vegetable gardens if you have the space. They come as tiny little seeds. Most of you have seen onion seed as, um, in the herbs or spices rack will know how tiny they are. Now the classic way to sow these is to take a standard small three inch pot, fill it with sowing compost, sprinkle them lightly on the top, literally cover with the same depth of vermiculite, put them in a cold frame and they'll grow quite happily and you'll get a load of leeks in a pot this size, probably 20 or 30. They'll grow quite happily in this pot for a couple of months. Then you take them out, separate them all and literally puddle a single leek into each hole. And we've covered that before in a video. But one of the things that I think leeks lend themselves to, the same as Japanese bunching onions, uh, beetroot, is multiple seeding. Now, if I just show you the leeks I've been growing in my mum's 10-minute garden. We're at one of my mum's little beds in her 10-minute garden, and what multiple seeding gives you is what I'll show you here. I'll just pull these leeks out. And as you can see, rather than thinning them, we've ended up with three smaller leeks. Now, this is what I'm trying to achieve for the simple reason that, one, the smaller ones are slightly sweeter, and if you took all those three together, you've actually got more of a leek than if you grew a single big one. And I think it's a much, much better way of growing. You get, if you like, an increased density from the same area. And what we're trying to do is get these small, incredibly sweet leeks that I'll use in the kitchen. See, incredibly white. And that's what I'm trying to achieve, as I said, with multiple seeding. The main difference between the way that the leeks have been grown, I've just shown you, and putting them in a normal pot, all starts at the sowing stage. And what I like to do is use these module trays. Now, we've all got module trays, but these are slightly different in that they're slightly deeper also, if I hold this up and we look inside it, there are vertical ridges inside these modules. And that's because what you don't want is to leave things in these modules so long that the roots start to spiral. A bit like a tree, you just get the roots going round and round. By having vertical ridges, it means it actually gets the roots to grow down. And we fill these modules with normal seed sowing compost. When it arrives, your compost, it's likely to be in these big bits, break it up. And the other thing I'd say is treat yourself to a compost sieve for literally doing the top. We fill this with normal seed sowing compost. Once your modules are full, clean across the top and then just bang it a couple of times. That's to settle the actual compost. Then take a dibber, and all the dibber is is something that's got a little round end on. Now this is purpose made, but top of a pen will do just as well. And we literally go across each one of these modules. I mean, the other way to do it would be just to poke your thumb to create a slight indent, your thumb, your finger, into the top of each one of these modules. Only enough for the seeds to sit in. And the thing with multiple seeding is that although each one of those leeks or onions or beetroot would be slightly smaller than if grown individually, like a lot of small vegetables, they're sweeter and you actually get a larger crop per square meter by multiple seeding. So that's the reason you do it. So as the leeks you shall we just take out, 
those three leeks are sweeter and are actually bigger than a single big leek. If you grow a big leek like that, a lot of the time I find you lose a lot of the flavour. So now we just take some of our seeds, take these tiny seeds and we're going to put six into each module. Now I know six seems a lot, but it's unlikely they'll all germinate. You're likely to get between three and four germinating. And you can do this with your fingers, although they're fiddly. And once we've got six in each one, we're just going to pop a tiny bit of vermiculite on the top to cover it. If all six of your seeds did actually germinate, I'd probably thin them down to four, but it's very, very unlikely. And then just taking some really fine vermiculite, again, use your fingers just to cover the seeds up. Now, I like vermiculite for covering seeds. It retains moisture, uh, it's very light, um, it doesn't get waterlogged and it allows the seams to germinate really easily. And although these seeds look small and fiddly, you'll find that if you actually do just pick them up with your fingers and thumb, you know, we normally all have enough dexterity that you can sort of quite easily feel them dropping in here, sort of four or five or six into each module. Once we've done this, give it a gentle water. Put it in a cold frame, doesn't really need much heat. <coughs> and they'll quite happily stay in here for a couple of months. And then we'll plant them out at about, if it was bunching onions of four inch spacing, leeks five to six inches, I tend to sort of space mine. And we puddle them in with the leeks. That's a slightly different technique there. I'll put a link on the bottom of this film to the other leek one we did, which is called puddling in. It's uh, the way when you drop them into a deep hole and basically settle them with water. And you just plant each one of these modules whole. There's no thinning out, there's no splitting them up. You just plant them as whole modules. And it means that you get a much larger crop, as I've said, per square metre. Really easy, great to grow, much, much sweeter than the ones you're going to buy. Quite trouble-free leaks themselves. And that's about it. Quite simple, quite easy, quick enough to do. Enjoy planting your leeks till next time.